Hi, I'm Jacob Airy, and on today's episode of the Wild Roots Field Guide, we're taking a closer look at the plant that generated the phrase, leaves of three, let it be. It's the plant everybody loves to hate, poison ivy. If you spent any time outdoors in Texas, there's a good chance you've come across the notorious native poison ivy. It's a woody vine or a low-growing shrub that's earned its reputation for one thing, that itchy, blistering rash that it can leave behind. But there's actually more to it than just that. You can re recognize poison ivy by its three distinct leaflets. That's where the old saying, leaves of three, let it be, comes from. The leaves can be smooth-edged, slightly toothed, or even deeply notched, and their appearance changes with the seasons. In spring, new leaves often have a reddish tint before turning green through the summer. As they age, they fade to yellow, and by the fall, they shift into those bright shades of yellow, orange, and red. In the spring, you will also see small clusters of greenish-white flowers and, later in the year, white waxy berries that hang on into the winter. It often grows along fence lines, trees, pastures, and riverbanks, thriving in moist, partially shaded areas across Texas. Despite its bad reputation, poison ivy plays an important ecological role by providing shelter and food for native species. If you come in contact, wash your hands immediately with soap and water, in more severe cases, seek medical attention immediately. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Jacob Berry with Wild Roots Realty Group. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about poison ivy, what it can get confused with, or suggestions for future episodes. Again, I'm Jacob Berry. It's your land today. It's your legacy tomorrow.